Hello flower friends! In my Flower More community for the month of December, our design challenge is to make an arrangement with everything but flower. My name is Ellen Frost. I'm the owner of Local Color Flowers and I've been a florist for over 15 years. I write a weekly newsletter all about flowers, which you should definitely check out. And I host an online community called Flower More for flower nerds who want more flowers in their life. So like I said, in our Flower More community this month, our design challenge is to create an arrangement with everything but flowers. So I'm gonna use this rustic bowl as my vase and I'm gonna use chicken wire as my mechanic. And this is coated chicken wire, which I'm gonna turn into a ball that's gonna go inside this vase and act as my mechanic. And what a mechanic does is just hold your flowers in place. So I'm gonna turn this into like a burrito type shape so that it fits inside the bowl and that my stems have two, let's see, two entry points to go in because these branches are gonna be kind of heavy. So I wanna make sure that they're nice and secure inside the bowl. So I wanna squeeze this in here. And then just for a little added um, support, I'm going to put a piece of, or a couple pieces of waterproof floral tape. So the first foliage I'm gonna use is Southern Magnolia. This is my number one foliage that I use in the winter. I use it all winter long. It starts before Thanksgiving and I use it all the way really through Valentine's Day. And it's really very sturdy. It's got really pretty shiny green on the front and this suede brown in the back. And I'm gonna use this suede brown to tie in some of my other elements. So I wanna make sure my stem's nice and clean. And for any woody stems, I like to give an extra little cut here into the stem, just right up the stem. You can do it in an X if you want. And that will help the stem take up water. All right, so I've got a nice good base of magnolia. The next green I'm going to use is an evergreen called Blue Ice Cedar. Um, this is the best smelling, the most fragrant evergreen that we use. And these are really long stems. And again, you can see they're really branchy. So I'm gonna cut these into a few different stems. And even for one long stem like this, I can probably get two cuts off of it. You can cut like a shorter one, make sure that my Stems nice and clean before I put it in. I can do this with my hands or I can do it with my clippers. And it will take a little bit of time just to make sure that those stems are clean. And because I'm using an opaque bowl, I won't be able to see if the water level is low. So make sure, you know, every day you sort of stick your finger in and make sure that you can feel the water. Always be adding clean water if you need to, if the water level gets low. So my next foliage I'm gonna use is Lindera. This is a dried foliage. Um, it comes to us fresh, but it dries really quickly into this really beautiful suede color. And like I said, I'm gonna play off of the From back where? of the magnolia for that. I'm really gonna tie that into the suede color of the magnolia. All right, I am gonna use some berries because it's berry season. If you were making this for late fall or for Thanksgiving, you might think about using orange Ilex. So this is Ilex or winter berry. It comes in like a gold color, an orange and a red. And since we're going into December, I am gonna use the red berries in it. And the berries do not fall off unless they are jostled around. So as you're designing, you may see that some of them fall off, but once they are sitting on your table, they're not gonna, they're not gonna fall off. You can see that my design so far is already feeling really full and really lush and really interesting, I think, even though I'm not using and I'm not planning to use any fresh flowers. I'm gonna use another dried flower. This is German Status. 
and it's great for all seasons, but especially around this time of year, I love adding it into winter designs because it does look a little like a frosted or snow covered branch. It adds a really pretty texture and like I said, like a little bit of a winter feeling dried flower. It's got really pretty shape, sort of feather shape. All right, I've got a couple more non-flower elements that I'm going to include. Uh, one is pine cones. And I'm just gonna take this flocked wire, which is, we call it velvet wire. It's just a, 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 a wire with this sort of felted covering, which helps it not be sticky, I mean, not be slippery. So I'm just gonna wrap it around my pine cone, basically creating an artificial stem for my pine cone. Then I can stick it in at whatever length I wanna use it in. And because the wire is bendable, you can really adjust it really well. So I'm gonna put a few of these in. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of pussy willow. So I have some dried pussy willow actually from last season. This is the black pussy willow. Uh, this is pretty rare for us. We don't have a lot of growers that grow it. And so if at the end of, you know, sort of the winter, we still have some left, I always hang on to it because I think it'll be able to be used next season. All right, one of my last elements, I've got two more. One is Lunaria. This is a dried plant that has a really pretty white color, sort of a shimmery. And I love using it for winter designs because it does feel uh, very seasonal. It catches the light, so if you're you know, designing in a space that has low light or candles, this Lunaria is gonna be really nice in it. All right, lastly, I saved some okra pods. This is ornamental okra, so you know, regular okra or edible okra is you know, more on the small side. But these ornamental okra are really tall and they grow, I mean, they dry really pretty with this like white stripe center and you can hear the seed pods in there. So I'm gonna put an extender on them. I can either use like a wood skewer and just stick it right into the base of the, of the pod or I could use that same flocked wire and stick that in. So I'm gonna use these skewers to place a couple of these in and they, you don't need any glue or any tape or anything. You can just stick the skewer right in. So there we have an everything but flowers design. If you are getting to the winter season and you're feeling down that cut flowers are not as readily available, you can definitely go out and um, find some evergreens, some dried flowers, some berries, some seed pods, even pine cones, and create an arrangement all your own without cut flowers. If you'd like to join our Flower More Community Challenge, you can uh, create an arrangement just like this and share it within the community. So check out the link in my comments and you can find out more about Flower More there.